Hi guys, welcome back to Winnie's Corner, the safe place for women to learn and grow. Today, I'll be talking about something really interesting. I'll be talking about what to look for when you are looking for the right person. What to look for when you are looking for the right person. I hope that this is going to be a blessing to someone will be watching this video before i start i just want to thank all of you my subscribers i just want to thank you for your support and encouragement i really do appreciate it and may god continue to bless you all and if it's your first time on my channel please go ahead and click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you won't miss out anytime i upload a new video i make new video every week so please do subscribe Today, I'll be talking about what you should consider when you're looking for the right person. What you should consider when you're looking for the right person. I just have some tips to help someone out there that is searching, singular searching, you know, and is asking yourself, oh, what should I do or what should I consider as I'm looking for the right person to settle down with? I have tips for you. We are in a society where a lot of people just marry for marriage sake. A lot of people just get into relationship and marriages because of different wrong reasons. And it's because of those same different wrong reasons that it's so easy for a lot of people to run out. Because when they get into it, then they begin to see that marriage is not what they thought it was. So it's very, I think it's very important for you to know what you want. If you don't know what you want, you will start. You will stand for anything. If I ask someone today and I say, "Oh, what are your standards when it comes to you choosing a husband?" and most of them will not even say anything. And even if they want to choose, it's even if they want to have a standard, they have their standards do not matter. You know, you ask a, a girl that is about to marry, say, what kind of man are you looking for? And he says, a tall, handsome guy with a lot of money and a car, you know, all those things. And <laughs> it's so funny, you know, I'm laughing, but it's not funny, but it's funny at the same time because, you know, we get this wrong impression of what we think makes up the right person. Someone that is tall, dark, handsome, with six pack, has a car and money. And you think that's what makes marriage? My sister, you're getting it all wrong. But the right person is not like a particular person that is just for you. And if you miss it, you've missed it. If that is the case, like many people will not be married. Many people will not have, have opportunities. But the right person is just the person that is right for you. I believe that there are many right people out there. And it's just for you to be able to, you know, to know what you Number one is when you are looking for the right person for you, you have to look for someone that is spiritually inclined. I'm talking about a Christian. I'm talking about someone that knows what it means to be a Christian. If you are choosing to marry, you should choose someone that is of the same spiritual standing as you. You should go for someone that has the same understanding spiritually because life is spiritual you the know? person you you marry to will determine how your spiritual life will go the person that you choose to share your life with will determine how far you will make it in your walk with god or how far you will grow in the knowledge of what christ has made you in his son so they have everything to do with your spiritual health with your spiritual health because so someone gave this example that is is very easy for for a, sp a spiritual for an unbeliever to pu pull down a believer than it is for a believer to pull up to pull up an unbeliever so it's we need to take this into consideration it's just logical getting looking at someone who is not a christian is going to is, is going to interfere in the plan the father has for you he's going to stop you from going to church because he doesn't know why you should be going to church he's supposed he's going to stop you for even praying in the house because he doesn't believe in prayer he doesn't believe that prayer does anything he's going to stop you for even worshiping in the house because you guys will not work together and the bible says that two cannot work together except they agree how do you intend to work with your spouse spiritually and fulfill the purpose for God 
the purpose that God has for your family if you guys don't work together, if you guys don't agree, if you guys don't go to church. I find among many people who say, we make it work, we make it work. Yes, you make it work for you. But the thing is that in the long run, the plan that God has for you, it will be difficult for him to, you know, work in you if you have someone that does not see in your life if you have someone that does not believe that you should go to church you know do you think that when you get married the father will, will, will accept for you to disobey your husband if he's an unbeliever of course you you will have to you know make your your marriage work by listening to what your husband says if he says that no i don't want you to go to church you know if, if you say that oh i'm not going to say i will go the more you disobey him, the more strained your marriage become. And it, it might lead to a divorce. You know, there are many Christians, I know of many women in this situation who are praying for God to make their husbands, you know, to come to know Christ. Shoes. So it's important that you take this into consideration. When you are looking for someone to marry, when you are searching for the right person, spirituality, faith should be the first thing to consider. And I'm not talking about someone that only goes to church. You need to go for someone that knows what it means to be a Christian. Don't just go for Sunday, Sunday Christian, Sunday, Sunday Christian. No, go for someone that understands the love of God. Someone that knows what it means to be a Christian. We are talking about someone that, you know, Christianity has become their life. You know, that is what we are, those are the kind of people, that, that, that's someone that you go for. It's very important. There are many people suffering their marriages because they didn't consider this. They went and they were equally yoked with unbelievers and now things are going, not going well for them and they are praying for deliverance, they are praying for God to set in. Don't, 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 don't enter a marriage where in the future you'll be praying for God to come in because you made the wrong decision. Make the right decision now by going for someone who is spiritually sound for your own good and for the benefit of your work with God. So, Another thing that I will mention that I think is very, very important is you need to know that person's understanding of who a woman is, of womanhood and a woman. We have a lot of men out there who think very low of women. You see a young guy that looks very cute and you ask him a question and you ask him, what do you think about women? Women? Women mean nothing to me. You know, they, they don't even consider that women have any rights. They don't even believe that women even have a voice. You know, they believe that they are superior to women. You know, because of the way they were raised. They were raised in a patriarchal society that says that the man has it all. The man is the one that declares and he stays. They don't believe that, a, that they are equal to, to a woman. They don't believe that marriage is a partnership. They don't believe that the wife has anything to say. And there are a lot of young guys that think that way. So it's very important that if you're looking for someone to marry, you get to know what that person thinks about women, how that person sees women, you know? What he says, ask him questions. Not like you you're, you're tell him that, oh, I'm asking this question because I want to know what you think about women. No, just ask him questions from nowhere. Randomly be discreet. Ask him, oh, you guys can just be watching a movie and you're like, you know, what do you think about this woman being a president? And when he starts telling you things like, I don't think she, you know, she has any right to be that she's supposed to be under her husband and listen to what else. Then you begin to know that what he's saying is what he's going to do with you. So his view about what a woman is or who a woman is supposed to be in marriage does not, it does not work with you. Therefore, you know that, oh, for this one, I'm going to take a step back. I'm entering fire. You know, you, you start thinking. So it's important for you to get to know what that person thinks about women. It's important. This is so important. And I, and I think that many people would not, would not consider this, but it's very important for you to consider because we have a lot of men that, that, have a lot of self-importance attached to them and they get into marriage and their women become slaves. Their women become tormented and controlled. But if you can take this step ahead to get to know, you know, beforehand what he thinks about you as a woman and what your prospects are in that marriage as a woman, then it will benefit you a lot and it will save you from a lot of trouble. The next thing I'm going to mention, number three, is if you're looking for the right person, Look at the way he treats other people. 
It's very important. Some of us, we date and we close our eyes to things. You focus on the way he treats you. The best way to know someone is to look at the way they treat other people. When you guys are walking on the street, look at the way he treats women. Look at the way he treats people in general. Look at the way he treats his colleagues. Look at the way he treats his mother, his father, his sisters. Is he, is he, is he abusive towards his sisters? Is he insulting his sisters? It, how does he act? Does he respect his mother? Someone said that men who have high respect for their mothers are usually good men. And that is true. You hardly see a man who loves and, and, and honors his mother treats a woman wrong. So you need to consider those things. You cannot be with a guy that insults his mother. Every time you go there, you have to try to divide fight between him and his mother. And then... You, you have to stop him from talking back to his mother and then and then you just close your eyes to it because he doesn't do that to you you think you're safe that is your future so you need to consider that it's very important the way he treats his mother the way he treats his sister the way he treats people in general look at it and then you will know how he's going to treat you because when it comes to 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 you he can adjust his character because he wants some things from you but with the other people you know, he asks who he is, so take a look at the way he treats them. And then you will know whether you should keep on being with this person or you should leave him. Because this really matters. And I think that people don't look at this, but I think it's important. Number four, respect. Oh my goodness, this one counts so much. I, I can say it over and over. I've made a lot of videos on respect. So if you want to know... Go and watch the previous videos I've done on respect for women, respect as a general in relationship and marriage. It's very important for you to look at how much this person respects you. Respect is how someone talks and treats you and considers you. Respect has to do with a lot of things. I'm not going to go into that. You can go and watch my previous videos on respect. But you have to consider respect. Does he respect you the way he talks to you in this stage, at this stage? Do you feel like you are respected? Do you feel like you are considered? Do you feel like your opinion is taken into consideration? Do you feel like the way he talks to you, do you feel like he respects your personality, he respects who you are? It's very important for you to consider this. You Number five, look at his heart, his personality. Is he a kind person? Is he caring? Is he calm? Is he gentle? You know, you need to look at this thing. Someone, if you meet a man and the man is not kind, you know, he doesn't know how to show compassion. He doesn't know how to, to show empathy. He doesn't have this core value that makes up a person's heart. He doesn't have a good heart. He's not kind. And you cling to him. You cling to him. Even when you know that he's not a kind person. Even, even though he has shown you that he doesn't care. You cling to him. Do you think if he's not kind, if he doesn't show that he's kind to you now, do you think that he's going to be kind to you in the future? His kindness, his heart, how is his heart? Does he have a lot of love in his heart? Does he have a lot of kindness in his heart? Those are the kind of things you look at when you're looking for the right person. Look at the person's personality. Look at what their heart contains. Is their heart kind? Is their heart caring? Is their heart sympathetic? then you know if that kind of person is, is the kind of person that you, you can share your life with. Number six, the last but not the least, is look at the person's fathering skills. The person you give birth to a child with is very important, especially the father. We have a society where many fathers have failed. Here in the US, in the African, in the black African community, there's a lot of chaos going on in that community because there is lack of of right fatherhood many kids are not fathered therefore there is a lot of chaos going on women just go ahead and give birth to a child with any man they see men that are, are alcoholic men that take cocaine men that do not even know what it means to care for a child men that are selfish men that don't know how to love they give birth to any kind of person you need to look out and see this person has the does this person have the ability to be a good father? You can know by just doing things that, that will give you that, 
that information. For example, you can just watch a movie. You can put like a kid's movie and you see his reaction. Put a movie where they are beating up a child. Put a movie where a, a, a woman is giving birth and the man is not there. Put a movie where a, 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 a child has not been rightly fathered and see his reaction. You don't need to tell him that, oh, I'm putting this movie because I want to see whether you're going to be a good father or not. That is, that is foolishness. Put the movie and you come to your own conclusion. The way this person uh, um, be, behaves, the way this person reacts, do I think he's going to be a good father? The way he sees this thing. So you look at his play, someone that is playful, someone that can be playful with kids. You, in a, how does he react with other kids? How is he? Is he someone that is, is, is very nervous under pressure because kids come with a lot of pressure and, and when, when kids come with a lot of pressure, how does he behave in pressure? Those are the kind of things that you can consider when you're looking looking at the fact that he's going to be a good father or not. It's very important. If you don't know what to look at when you're looking for the right person, take some of these tips I've give, I'm, I'm sharing with you and put it to work and see if it works for you. Most people want something that is good, but they don't want to be good. Everyone is looking for the right person. But are you the right person? Because we talk about the right person all the time, all the time, but we don't ask ourselves the question, are you the right person? Because you might be another person's right person. Are you positioning yourself to be the right person for someone else? Because you are saying, I'm looking for someone that respects me, but you don't know how to respect men. I'm looking at someone that treats me right, but you don't know how to treat people right. I'm looking for someone that is kind, but you are not kind. You are mean. You are wicked to people, yet yeah, you're looking for a kind person. So why do you want to have something that you cannot give? I, I feel like this aspect about, about right, looking for the right person, I think most times we women should concentrate on becoming the right person. Becoming the, the right person is going to lead you to the right person. Sometimes people, women ask a question and say, why do I always attract the wrong guys? Ask yourself that question. The bee does not follow honey for nothing. There is something there. So if you are looking for the right person, are you the right person? Are you kind? The way you see men, do, do, are you, have you accepted that, that, that a man, according to what the Bible says, according to the way God has made it, the man is the head of the woman. Have you accepted that the man is going to lead you in marriage? Have you accepted that? Because some of us, we are not even ready to be under a man's authority. Yet we want the best man, want to get married. Yet you are ready to challenge him and fight with him and take over authority in the marriage as if, as, as, as if it's something to fight for, you know? So how are you? Are you preparing yourself? So as you're looking for the right person, be that right person. And I'm, I bet you the right person will come to you. You are, you'll be like the honey that attracts the bees, you know, the right person who come to you. So let's work on ourselves as you're, you're looking on someone else that is busy working on himself work on yourself and i bet you you will meet that person that you think is appropriate for you don't trust in your in your ability the, the bible says that the arm of flesh will fail you but the father can never fail you after all we trust in the in in the we trust in the guardians of the holy spirit because i've seen people who have pretended to be what they are not just to get married you can meet a man and a man can check all your boxes i've, I've listed some things the man the man can can be can show you that he's spiritually inclined the man can show you that he treats women very well the man can show you that he's kind he's gentle the man can show you respect you know the man can show you that he's a good father and all of that there is evil hidden under and the way you marry, that's when his real personality comes out. So, trusting in the perception of the spirit, trusting in the spirit of God within you. If we listen to the spirit of God within us, we will hear him guiding us. Trust in God to lead you. Trust in God to open your eyes to see the things that you are not seeing. In as much as you've made a box to check. Make sure that the Spirit of God is also with you, checking those boxes. Make sure it's not just coming from your mind. Don't just trust in your own ability. Don't think you're too wise. Because there are many people who thought they were very wise and they ended up in fire. So listen to the Spirit of God. Rely in the Spirit of the Father. Rely in the Father to guide you, to, to, to direct your step. Rely on Him to save you. 
from things that you don't know because there is so much we can know we only look at the things we can see but the father knows everything so he may look and tell you this person is not right for you you know he alone can open your eyes to see the things that you're not seeing so checking every boxes is not enough but the guarantee is to trust in the spirit of god that always has the right answers. Thank you all so much for your support and I hope I will see you next week. Bye-bye.